Well, hello and welcome back. This time we're going to do something a little different. Uh, we're actually going to show you how we build our LHS distro. And what I have here is my virtual machine. It's uh, Ubuntu 2004.3. So this is the LTS uh, version of Ubuntu. And I have an application in here called Cubic. Cubic. So let's just go ahead and run that. And it is a, a custom Ubuntu ISO creator. So we'll go ahead and create a new ISO. You can see I just did the Ubuntu one the last time. This time we're going to do... Let's create a new directory here. Oops. Cancel. Documents. Create a new directory. We're going to do this uh, Ubuntu Mate L LTS. So that's the directory we're going to use and that's the disk we're going to use so it pops up this so it's real simple you can just go to your downloads folder if you've downloaded the disk which i have we'll just select that one it uh populates everything you need and what i do on this one is i just add uh, lhs dash and lts to the end so that's all I do on this page. Hit next. It's going to uh, open up the disk image. And this is a quite a quite a thick image for Ubuntu Mate. I think it was around three gigs. Yeah, as soon as it's done with this, it does drop you into a true rooted file system of the disk to make any changes you want to the disk. And this might take a minute, so I could fast forward this. And I got my notes all set up, so I know what we're going to download. Alrighty, so now we're inside the environment. Let me uh, open this up again. I don't know why I hit it. Let's get that out of the way. So this is basically the steps I run through. I ensure that uh, everything's up to date. So we do a, since we're already root, we don't need to do, but you just do an apt and update. This ensures we're getting the latest packages. Now, I won't run an upgrade on it because sometimes that brings in a new kernel, which uh, tends to mess up the disks. So I like to try to keep it as close as possible to the original. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, do this apt install for the ham radio pure blend stuff. apt install ham radio dash dot star and that's going to bring down a bunch of packages so we'll just go ahead and let that run now that it's done with that we can go ahead and uh Let's go ahead and add the Ubuntu user to the dialout group. So we'll just do a user mod tack A, which is append. Group is dialout and Ubuntu. Uh, the user doesn't exist. So I guess we'll just skip that for right now because that is the default user for the live disk. I'm going to go ahead and do some wgets. We're going to get uh, the background file. Oop. Must have missed the W. So there's that. We'll just go ahead and uh, 
go ahead and just grab all three of these paste so we're picking up basically uh, uh, JS8 call WSJTX the 2.5.0 general availability release and the SDR++ release So there's our debs. We're going to go ahead and install those. So we'll just do a apt install GS8 call. That way it installs some dependencies. And you can see it complains about the file being in the root file system, which is not really an issue. At least it doesn't appear to be an issue when it comes out to build in the disk, so. And then we'll just get SDR++ here as well. Now with SDR++, for some reason their uh, dev does not indicate that it needs the dev files, which if, we, if I remember correctly, let me just... Uh, pop over to their github site sdr plus plus you will need this as well to make sure it works those are these uh packages right there so we'll just go ahead and uh go ahead and add those to our oop, not this one to the cubic install paste So that's installed now, and the only other thing we have left is we have the, uh, um, oh yeah, CQR log. Definitely need this. So we'll just go ahead and uh, add the apt repository, the PPA. And I know we say that yeah, occasionally you are going to run into problems with that, but uh, I feel pretty good about this one done this several times and it works fine to get uh, MariaDB and everything installed properly. So just go ahead and run update even though I believe it just did an update. That's fine. Then we'll do an apt install minus y cqr log. So there we go. It's going to install cqr log. And then the last little bit is getting the wallpaper to work, which I believe is in user share. Uh, is it a Mate? Oh yeah, Mate. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Not sure. Specifically. All right, we're going to call that good.
and it's just going to come up here and ask us to do uh, check which packages will be excluded. We're just going to click next because that should work fine. We're not going to change the kernel, so that should work fine. We'll leave it on gzip because that should be fine. And now we wait for it to make the disk. pretty large image okay so there we go it is saved and we won't delete anything because we need to test it so uh, yeah let's uh, what I normally do is just reboot this system and to test in it so let's push the file over to the main computer so let's go to documents yeah I can type today, which I can't. SFTP. No errors found. That's good. So we're just going to boot right in. We'll see what the see how I did on the backdrop. Survey says I picked unwisely. <laughs> However, let's just take a look at what actually is. Let's just uh, try Ubuntu Mate. Make sure the disk is working. Okay, what is the actual desktop background? Green wall logo. Interesting. And interesting that ours doesn't show up at all. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'll get over that. Let's see if uh, some of the applications actually are there. SDR++. Oh, yep. Yep. Look at that. SDR++. So we are uh, we are all set. Look at that. That's going to be fine. So anyway, that's how we build the disk. And uh, obviously, I messed up the backdrop. But uh, hey, it works. So that's all that matters. And you can try out... Uh, all the software in the ham radio pure blend which is like g predict and whatnot so yeah enjoy that and uh we'll see you next time 73